Hello dear students of grade 9, you are welcome to unit 14, History and Civilization. Dear students, today we will do the exercise of this unit and look at the picture and talk about human evolution. So you can see the stages of, stages, you know, stages of human development, human evolution. So Australopithecus, Homo habilis, Homo erectus, Homo neanderthalensis, and Homo sapiens. Now let's do the exercise. Okay, dear students, I think you have uh, understood the text and if you have any confusion, you can write to me. So here, match the following words from the text with their meanings. Dot. Dot means, you know, a long period of time when there is little or no rain. So, you, are, you know, dot in here, V. So, a long period of time when there is little or no rain. This is called dot. Okay, now. Uh, Excel. Excel means to be very good at doing something. To be very good at doing something. Hieroglyph. Hieroglyph means a picture representing a word or syllable or sound. Hieroglyph. Hieroglyph. Now dominant. Dominant. VII. So let's see dominant here. More powerful and important. Okay, dominant, dear students. So VII. So dominant means more power, more important, powerful, or yes, easy to notice. Okay, more important, powerful, or easy to notice. In the dominant concentration. Concentration means a lot of something in one place. Concentration. Invasion. Invasion. The first one, an instance of large number of okay, first one. And now, uh, okay, excavation. Okay, excavation means your digging. Ground to look for all varied buildings and objects. So here you can see the students. Okay, invasion means the first one. Instance of large number of people or things that arriving at somewhere. Okay, now now let's do the next exercise, dear students. Find the words in the text and fill in the crossword puzzle. So here number one, PS two across. People who follow each other in time and order. Succession. You can write S U C C E S S I O N succession. Now four. Here yeah, a loss of power, prosperity, or status and downfall. D O W N F A E R L -L, downfall. Complete now five. Complete with regard to every detail. So this is starting from T thorough. T S O R U just thorough. Now six. A union or association formed for mutual benefit. Alliance. Alliance. Okay. A L L I A N C Alliance. Now down. Complete disorder or confusion. Chaos. Okay, starting from C here. C H A O S Chaos. C H A O S Chaos. Now three. Very complicated and detailed. Here three one. E L A B O R A T E elaborate elaborate look at here the word elaborate now seven to use all of something so that there is no left uh, this is uh, the, the word is exhaust e x a s u s t e x a s a u s t exhaust now dear students to the correct answer from here when did um, Maya civilization reach its height six century already. Maya, uh, civilization rich sites. Okay, now V. Where were the Ma uh, Why were the Mayas unlike to be invaded by the Mesoamericans? So they were concentrated in a particular area. Now, okay, next one. Hmm. Uh, see what has uh, fascinated researchers about the Mayas from the southern lowlands. The stone stones cities. The stone cities. Now, D. Which period of the Maya civilization is considered the Golden Age? The classic period. Now, E. Whom did the Mayas consider their god? Nature. Mayas considered their god nature. Mayas considered nature their god. Now, F. According to scholars, which of the following is not the cause of Maya downfall? Foreign invasion. This is not the cause. Foreign invasion. Now, match the paragraph numbers with the respective information. Number one. Uh, the first paragraph is about occupation of the earliest Maya society. 
the first paragraph it gives information about the occupation of the earliest uh, Maya society. Number second paragraph. Second paragraph gives information about places where the Maya Mayas lived. The second paragraph gives information about the places where the Mayas lived. Now third paragraph. Third paragraph is about categories of places where the Mayas live. Mayans lived. Third paragraph gives information about the categories of the places. Fourth paragraph is about the number of people in the Maya civilization. Fourth paragraph, sorry, fifth paragraph, sorry, fourth paragraph is about achievement by the Maya civilization in a different sectors. Sorry, okay, uh, fourth paragraph, IV, you know, this IV paragraph, fourth paragraph is about the achievement by the Maya civilization in different sectors. And fifth paragraph is about number of people in the Maya civilization. Fifth paragraph, Okay, it gives information about the number of people in the Maya civilization. And here, the sixth paragraph is about the spirituality of the Mayan people, religion of the Mayan people. And, okay, seventh paragraph is about time when the downfall of the Maya civilization started. And the last paragraph, eighth paragraph is about the fights with, uh, with the neighboring states and the possible cause of downfall. Now, dear students, uh, listen to a teacher and notice the stress succession here you can say succession excavation excavation inscription concentration axel architecture first level is first, first level is stress architecture culture first level is stress exhausted second level is stress exhausted now the students look at uh, the two pictures here. The following pictures show the changes that have taken place in a village over a period of 10 years. Talk about the changes using used to or didn't used to. So these students, it's not difficult. Example is not given here. There used to be a field in front of the village, but now it is filled with houses. So you can see there used to be few houses, but there are many houses. There used to be a green field or uh, there used to be uh, trees. In the village uh, but now there are no trees uh, in, in the village you can see there uh, used to be okay very uh, let's say there are few people now there are very there are many people here okay you can write in this way you can compare okay you can also say there didn't use you know people didn't used to uh, okay uh, work in different factories and uh, companies but now people work in different factories uh, and okay you can say people used to work in the field now people uh, work in different offices and organization right in this way dear students it's not difficult was narrow and they had an agreement okay one of them okay i'll, I'll show you uh, this story dear students okay the foolish gods one day a god uh, let's say once upon a time you can write, one day a god was crossing the bridge at the other end of the bridge. He saw that there was another god coming from the opposite direction. Since the bridge could only accommodate only hold one at a time, one god one at a time, it was impossible for both uh, the gods to cross, cross it at the same time. The gods stood in their place and waited for the other to reach it to go, but neither of them was willing to go back, back down to let the other pass. The first god then said, I am the world god.
Okay, dear students, to wise gods. The other day, there were two other gods who wanted to cross the river bridge. They were both understanding in nature. They were willing to adjust. One god squatted and sat on the bridge while the other crossed over this god. After that, go, uh, the god had crossed. Here, yeah, the cross, okay. Uh, after that, the god. Okay, the god crossed your yeah, mistake. Okay. The god which had squatted got back and walked across the bridge. Thus, the both gods crossed the river safely. Now, grammar day students compare what Samita said in the past and what she says now. So, okay, it's, uh, you have to make sentences by using used to. And now, you look at the examples here. Okay, Samita five years ago said, uh, I travel a lot, I play the piano. You cannot see, you know, here it's very easy, dear students. So here you can see, uh, she used to travel a lot, but she doesn't go away much these days. So we can, okay, uh, write in this way. So she used to play the piano, but she hasn't played the piano for years. Next, she used to be very lazy, but she works very hard these days. Next, she didn't used to like cheese, but she eats a lot of cheese now. She used to have got a dog, but her dog died two years ago. She used to be a water receptionist, but she works in a movie shop now. She used to have got lots of friends, but she doesn't have, okay, um, she doesn't know many people these days. She never used to read newspapers, but she reads the newspaper now. She didn't use to drink tea, but she likes tea now. Now, rewrite the following sentences using used to or didn't used to. I lived with my parents. I used to live with my parents. Used to plus one. one. Did you swim in the river every summer? Did you used to swim in the river every summer? Use only, you see. You never smoke. You didn't ever use to smoke. Or you can say, you didn't use to smoke only. You didn't ever use to smoke. I played tennis at school. I used to play tennis at school. Villagers walked for hours to reach the nearest health post. Villagers didn't used to walk for hours to reach the nearest health post. There was a dense forest around the village. There used to be, or sorry, used to, okay, dear friend. You see, it used. What did you use to uh, what did you do in your childhood? Okay. Okay, your dear students. Uh there used to be a dense forest. What did you do in your okay? Uh what did you use to do in your childhood? I don't write the stories. I didn't use to write the stories. Did people travel by airplanes? Did people use to travel by airplanes? Where did you go to deposit your money? Where did you use to go to deposit your money? Right in this way. Now, dear students, develop a readable, sto develop a readable story based on the given outlines. Look at the outlines here. Hints are given here for you. A king in image defeated him six times, hides in a cave, she's a spider, climbing the wall, fellows for six times. Okay, dear students, we'll write a story uh, with the help of these outlines. And we have to change verb 1 and verb 5 into verb 2. And we have to write a uh, moral. We have to write, okay, we have to choose a, we have to write a very good uh, title. Now, let's see. Now, the king and the spider. The title of this story is The King and the Spider. Once upon a time, there was a brave king in a country. Once he had to fight against a large army with just a few soldiers. He was defeated. He had to run for his life. The king took shelter in a forest cave. He was very distressed. His colleagues had left him. He was blankly gazing at the ceiling of the cave. An interesting scene captured his attention. The small spider was trying to climb the wall, but if the spider crawled off, it fell down. But the spider did not give up. It tried to climb again and again. Finally, the spider succeeded in its seventh attempt. Then the king began to think, if a small spider can face failure so bravely, why should I give up? I will try with all might till I win. This thought gave strength to the defeated king. The king got out of the jungle and collected his brave soldiers. He fought against the large army. He defeated his enemies. Okay, the moral of the story is perseverance paved the way to success. Nirantartha. Okay, perseverance. Lagan Shilata, Niran Shilata. Okay, now two friends and a beer. Uh, once two friends were walking through the forest uh, to somewhere, you can write. Suddenly they saw a large beer approaching them, coming to them. One of the friends at once climbed a nearby tree. So one of the friends climbed a tree, but the other one did not know how to climb. So being led by his common sense, he used his common sense. He lay down on the ground, okay, breathless, pretending to be a dead man. The deer came near the man lying on the ground. It smelled in his ears and slowly left the place. Okay, 
because the bears do not touch, you know, uh, the dear creatures. Now the friend on the tree came down and asked his friend on the ground, friend, what did the, what did the bear tell you into your ears? The other friend replied, the bear advised me not to believe a false friend. Okay, moral of friend in need is a friend indeed. Okay, dear students, this is all about uh, some exercises of unit 14. Okay, next I will uh, make a video. I will help you do the exercise of reading second, uh, the history of money. Thank you for watching.